So today I'm going to be unboxing and giving my first impressions of the new Honor Pad 9 released in December of last year, offering some nice improvements over the Pad 8. Now I'm going to be doing an in-depth comparison between the Pad 9 and the Pad 8, so subscribe if you want to see that video. But for the time being, unboxing Pad 9, let's get into it. Okay, so here is the new Honor Pad 9, which I'll just be doing a quick unboxing of and very quick setup. So the Honor Pad 9 was released back in December of last year and it comes as an upgrade over the Pad 8 which I also do have and I've also got a video on as well so be sure to check that out. So here is the Pad 9 in all its glory. Looking quite nice and it's feeling very similar to the Pad 8. Just pop that aside for a second. Open up this little box here and you get a charging cable in that. And that is your lot. No other bits and bobs in the box of the Pad 9. And I'll just quickly show you on a Pad 9, space gray, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. Now there are other configurations with up to 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. But this is the model that I went for here. So then on the bottom, you just got your USB-C charging port with speaker grills, microphones, volume rocker, power button, more speakers, and then more speakers again. So you've got a total of eight speakers on the Honor Pad 9 which is the same as found on the Honor Pad 8. So I'll just power the tablet up and then you've got an eight megapixel selfie camera in the middle there. And then on the back, you've got a 13 megapixel main camera, which is up from the five megapixels, which you get five megapixels on both cameras on the Honor Pad 8. But I will be doing a more in-depth comparison between the Honor Pad 9 on, and the Honor Pad 8 in a separate video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. So I'll just quickly go through the setup process. English, United Kingdom, accept all those bits and bobs there. Let me just connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I've just put my Wi-Fi password in and then it just takes a minute or two just to get everything sorted. Oh, focus problem there. So I don't want to copy any information, but of course there is the option to do that. And then it's just checking the information and then it asks who's going to be using it, whether it's going to be a kid or an adult. Of course, it's an adult or a teenager. And then it's just going to ask me for my Google information. So I've just added my Google information in and it's just, again, taking a minute or so just to sort everything out and then you just accept the usual terms and conditions. I'm not convinced anybody actually reads that properly. I'm going to set Google as my browser and then I'm just going to agree all these other bits just for the sake of getting through to the main screen. Now it's giving you the option to log in with your Honor ID. I do have that but I am going to just skip that for the time being. Don't want that. I'll do that again at some point. I'll skip all those bits. So it then gives you the option to try the gestures just so you can familiarize yourself with how they work. So swipe to go back from the sides, same again from the right hand side, and then return home to swipe from the bottom, and then swipe and hold to go to your recent apps. So once it does that, it will bring you to the main screen, hopefully. There we go. So that is your new Honor Pad 9. And it comes with a big 12.1 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1600 by 2560. So you've got about 250 pixels per inch 
Of course, the resolution on tablets isn't what you'll find on smartphones, but it does seem pretty sharp. And of course, there are a few of Honor's own apps built into the phone, but let me just quickly dive into settings, home screen and wallpaper, home screen style, and I'm just going to add an apps tray. And then just while it resets, There we go, I to have it, add it the wrong way around. So here are all your apps that come preloaded on the tablet. So of course you've just got booking.com, device clone, Honor's email app, my Honor app, WPS office, and that's about it. Oh, they own notes app, kids space, game center, and all that sort of stuff. But for the most part, it's pretty clean. You've got the usual Facebook and Netflix and that sort of stuff on there, which if you want to, you can get rid of. And then jumping into the settings, I'm not gonna go through every settings, but you've got your usual options here when it comes to your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi and that sort of stuff. Display and brightness, you can switch to dark mode, which for the purposes of this video, I oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna keep it on light mode just so you can see it a bit better. And to be honest, if you've used a previous Honor device, like a phone or even a tablet, like this setup is gonna be very similar to the Honor Pad 8. And just the overall look of the tablet is very similar to the Pad 8. Bezels are nice and slim around all sides of the tablet, which is nice. You do have a 120 Hertz refresh rate, which you found on the Honor Pad X9 but you don't have that on the Honor Pad 8. And you can flip that down to a standard 60 Hertz if you want to save power. But you do get a larger battery on this Pad 9, 8,300 milliamp hours over the 7,300 or so on the Pad 8. And then if I just quickly go to system and updates, check if it will allow me to do an update. So we're currently on Magic OS 7.2. And there is another option to update it. I won't do that just for the time being. So currently out of the box, we are running Android 13. So it's not on the new Android 14, Magic OS version 7.2, Snapdragon 6 Gen 1, which is the same process I found in the Honor Magic 6 Lite. And then you get eight gigs of RAM, and that can be boosted with another eight gigs of the storage with the Honor's RAM Turbo. 256 gigs of total storage, 2560 by 1600 resolution, and then a Google Play system update May 2023, and a security patch of December 2023. So it might well be that the update that's coming here will upgrade that to a newer version. But I'm not going to do that right at this precise moment. But like I said, of course, you've got the usual tablet apps really you've got your google play store but then you've also got honors app market which of course basically just offers a lot of the similar apps that you'll find on google's play store with likely a few extras and some other honor own apps that might not be pre-installed on the phone sorry tablet and then if i just quickly jump into the camera which let's be honest most people don't buy a tablet for its camera capabilities. But it's a 13 megapixel camera. And there's your 8 megapixel selfie camera, which to be fair, doesn't look too bad. I've seen a lot worse, that's for sure. And then you've got a few extras here. So you've got HDR mode, time-lapse, watermark, video mode. So if I jump into the settings for the video, and then that is capped at 1080p at 30 FPS, which is about standard for a tablet. And then of course you've got photo, portrait, scan document mode, Get rid of that a minute. Flip back round to the front. 
and it's the same. You can shoot up to 4K resolution from the main camera and of course only 1080p 30 from that selfie camera. So like I said, you've got a few of Honor's own apps built onto the Honor Pad 9 if you want to really go into the Honor ecosystem. And things like booking.com, you can just uninstall if you don't want it on there. Netflix, if you don't want that on there, you can get rid. And it's nice to see that there's not a load of preloaded games on the tablet either, which is quite nice. You do sometimes find that with budget tablets, you get a load of games pre-installed. And then of course, biometrics and security. You've got face recognition, which is of course just a 2D image of your face, and then a lock screen password if you want to go down that route. And then you've just got a few themes and wallpapers built into the settings. And of course, if you log into your Honor ID, you can download more themes, you can download more icons and really customize the tablet to how you want it to look. And then you've got Honor Connect, which will help you transfer between different Honor devices wirelessly on your Honor smartphone or between tablets and things like that. So yeah, there's plenty of ways in which you can really dive into the Honor ecosystem. And then if I just pop the tablet down and then I'll grab the Honor Pad 8. Dimensions wise, they are very, very similar. The Pad 9 weighs about 550 grams or so. But yes, the dimensions are very similar. Speakers, buttons, all that sort of stuff is very similar. But like I said, I will do a more in-depth look at the two. So that's just a very quick hands-on with the new Honor Pad 9. Let me know if you want me to make a more in-depth review video of this tablet, including more use of the camera and gaming and battery and all that sort of stuff, because the 8300 milliamp hour battery is larger, of course, than the Pad 8. So it should theoretically give you more endurance and the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 should give you a little bit more of an improvement over the 680 found in the Pad 9. So subscribe and let me know if you want to see that video. And for the time being, this is the Honor Pad 9. And just quickly, I have also picked up the case, which I will just try. And that fits nicely. And then I have also picked up a universal stylus pen, which hopefully will work. If not, I've just wasted a tenner because there is stylus support on the Honor Pad 9. So yeah, this 10 pound stylus, let's see if it works. It does. I mean, I will have, of course, a bit more of a play about with it. And then I will just check it on the Pad 8, which also supports stylus. And that seems to work quite nicely. Even more so, actually, it seems to be on the Pad 8. But yes, again, I will do more of an in-depth review video if that's something that you'd like to see on the Pad 9. Do let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you there.